at the end of the day, I will no longer be working with Yoke Club. I was dropped as an athlete and I will no longer be working with HD Muscle, which was my previous supplement sponsor. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just said you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press towards. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Damn it, man. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Patrick. And in today's video, it's not going to be a fun one, that is for sure. If you saw the title and you saw the thumbnail, you already know what this is. Basically, long story short, I'm going to explain what happened. But at the end of the day, I will no longer be working with Yoke Club. I was dropped as an athlete and I will no longer be working with HD Muscle, which was my previous supplement sponsor. Um, I didn't really get dropped. I just decided to part, of, part ways with them. So I'm going to explain what happened in both of the situations. Um, it's not going to be a fun video to make. Something like I want to talk about because I've been getting a lot of questions once I like announced kind of both of those things. So I do want to let you guys, uh, you know, let you guys know what's happening with that, especially for two companies that I've worked with, you know, over like close to six months now. So I really just want to be transparent as I can. And if I was pushing products and if any of you use my code for either of those companies, I just want to say thank you very much. It really did support me. Um, but I hope you enjoy the products, but unfortunately I will no longer be working with either of them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to explain is Yoke Club, the clothing sponsor I was working with. Great team, great clothing, great group of guys. But the issue arised where simply, long story short, I wasn't making enough sales. I did it to myself. It was my own fault. There's no bad blood. There's no drama between it. But as you guys probably know, um, if you've been following me, I'm in Canada. And those guys were based in the U.S., which is Literally, the countries are bordering each other, but the problem is they're all the way in Texas, which is like the bottom of the U.S., and then, you know, Canada and the U.S. Uh, share borders at the top. So they were in the country below me, but literally on the complete other side of the country. And what the problem was is that it was costing them hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to ship me the clothing because they don't have a warehouse in Canada. And like they're basically a smaller business. They're just gaining traction now, only been started for about a year. So they didn't have very good shipping rates. So that was costing a ton. And then another thing, when you bring goods from a different country into Canada, you have to pay like taxes and duties on it. And since obviously they're a small company, so they don't have a warehouse in Canada, it was costing them hundreds of dollars just in taxes, just to bring the clothes over here. And the issue that occurred was that it was costing them hundreds of dollars to send me like 15 to 20 items, which is how much they were dropping uh, every single clothing release. So it's costing them hundreds of dollars to do that. And since my audience is I'm going to pull up my analytics on Instagram, but my audience is probably 50 50 with Canada and the US. And then, you know, there's a little bit of percentages internationally. But the problem was almost half my following was completely disregarded from being able to buy the clothing just because of the shipping and the duties that, you know, it was turning people away. I wouldn't expect you guys to spend that much money on clothing. So when people ask me like, hey, bro, I'm in Canada. I want to grab some yoke stuff. I want to use your code. What's up with the shipping? What's up with the duties when it's getting here? and my hands were tied, I really couldn't do anything about it, reached out to the owner of the company, I said, hey bro, I have a ton of people wanting to get yoke gear in Canada, but like they're not trying to pay $30 for shipping on like a shirt or on a stringer, like what what can we do? And he really just said, there's nothing that we can do right now, once the company gets bigger, once they get a warehouse in Canada, they can avoid you know those duties and those taxes and those exorbitantly high shipping rates, but the time being, um, the sponsorship just wasn't going to work out because they were losing money on me every time they would do a clothing drop because it would cost them hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to send me the stuff. Half my audience wasn't even, wasn't even able to buy it. And then, um, I would only make a certain amount of sales. It wouldn't even cover the cost of how much it was costing them just to send to me. So no hard feelings with any of those guys. It was a strictly business decision. I fully understand it. It's a small business. They're trying to come up. They're trying to change the game. They can't have, you know, an athlete on the team that's weighing them down like I was. It was my own fault. I simply didn't make enough sales. It's really that black and white. 
There's a ton of drama going on with them uh, and another athlete that recently parted ways with them. I'm not going to get too in-depth uh, on that issue just because I don't know too much about it. I only know my own experience. And, you know, I've seen how the group of athletes that they had, very tight-knit group, and how they acted towards each other. So I don't really want to touch too much on that issue. But one thing I will say is when I was speaking to the other athlete, he was saying that after I got dropped, some members of Yoke Club were talking shit about me. I don't know if I believe it because, you know, it is just hearsay and he was always, he already parted ways with the company. So I was really taking that with a grain of salt. But I just want to explain kind of my reasoning to you guys and just kind of explain something of the type of person that I am. So that athlete that parted ways went on a live basically telling his experience, which was something different than what I experienced. And he was kind of bashing the company, tearing the company down, but he said he was just being honest with what he was saying. Can't fault him for that. If that was his experience, that was his experience. However, it did annoy me that he told me that other members of Yo Club were talking shit about me once I got dropped because uh, it's a very tight-knit group. I see these guys as my brothers. I mess with all their content. I really like them as people. I love what they're doing. I love the videos and posts they're making. So it's a little bit disheartening to hear that. But the reason why, one, I don't really believe it too much just because it's coming not from the horse's mouth. And another thing is, it doesn't matter really to me that these guys, if they were talking shit about me, because I know which guys in the group really fucked with me and really uh, are my friends. So I'm not too stressed about that. But the thing is, when I went on live and I joined this athlete's live who is, you know, tearing them down and talking about his experience, I was almost standing up for Yo Club just because I didn't experience the same thing. So I didn't want, you know, the people on his live to get the wrong message. And a lot of them reached out to me after saying, hey, bro, thanks for standing up for us. You're not even a part of the team anymore. You didn't have to do that, all that stuff. And it just made me realize, like, let's say he was telling the truth. Let's say some of the athletes were talking shit about me after I got dropped. How would they feel if they knew that after, even even after I got dropped, I went on a live and I defended them? So it doesn't really say too much about me. It says more about the people that were talking shit. If there were any, you know, these are just allegations. I don't really know. But, like, they must feel like an absolute dickhead seeing after I stood up for the whole team after I was already dropped and after someone else was trying to tear them down. So I'm not saying any of this is true. This is just speculation. It's what someone told me, but that's just my reasoning behind it. Uh, I would never talk shit about those guys. I have nothing bad to say. All swell guys, all good content, amazing clothing brand. Uh, I was just happy for the opportunity they gave me. It was unfortunate that it didn't work out, but it is what it is. Okay, and then my supplement sponsor, HD Muscle. I didn't really get dropped as an athlete. It was actually my decision to part ways with them as a company and with them, you know, sponsoring me on the supplement side of, you know, my fitness page, my fitness journey. But I do just want to say before I get into depth on what my issues were with them, I do think they're a great company. I do think they have great products. Uh, my experience wasn't the best being an affiliate with them, but I'm not trying to tear them down at all. I think their products are still amazing and they're still a good overall company. And they're also based out of Canada like myself. So that's the reason why I reach out to them in the first place to work with them. But yeah, they're a good company, but I'm just going to talk about my experience personally. So when I first signed with them, I was under the assumption that I was going to be getting free products based on my sales with my code. So I was going to have, you know, a 10% off code PR fit 10 that a lot of you used uh, that would, you know, kind of go into a pool of, you know, people buying products with my code and the total sales for that would be kind of equated into free products that I was getting. So almost like you make a certain amount of sales, you get a certain allowance for free products. Now I'm not going to go too in depth with the numbers, but what happened was after my first couple months with them, I was absolutely killing it. You guys were running up the code. I was getting tons and tons of sales. That's when I reached out to my uh, athlete recruiter and I said, hey, check out my recent months with HD Muscle. I'm blowing the numbers out of the water. I'm generating a lot of revenue for this company. A lot of people are buying the products. A lot of people are using my code. I think it's only fair that I work my way up the ladder and now I should receive a commission just because of how many sales I'm making. I don't want just product allowance. I also want a commission so that I can, you know, get a percentage of the sales straight cash from my pocket. If you guys don't know, that's how most of these, you know, affiliate kind of codes uh, things work with either supplements or clothes. Usually it's commission based. So I reached out to them. I said to my athlete recruiter, I said, yep, would love a commission. I think it's only fair. Go check my recent months. Let me know what you think. They hit me back. They said, yep, you've been killing it, man. Good stuff. Glad to have you on the team. We'll offer you a 10% commission. I said, great. Just what I wanted to hear. Glad to, you know, work this out. Glad to be working my way up the ladder. I had no problem starting like on the bottom and working my way up as people use my code as I, you know, made sales for this company. 
However, less than, I want to say one to two months later, we get a massive, you know, blast out email saying, hey, we're changing things with our athletes. We're changing things with our affiliates. Um, you know, we're going to change the system up a bit. I don't want to go, I don't want to get in too many details, but basically they wiped my commission. They changed the, you know, the number of sales equating to the allowance of products. And this was like a monthly thing. Honestly, every other month they would come out with a statement to the athletes saying, okay, instead of this, now we have to do this. Now you're going to get this for this portion. And it would always kind of be like less and less every time. And it kind of just like weeded out what you were getting. So like they would say one thing, you would get it for a month. Then the next month they would, you know, increase the amount of sales you need or decrease increase the payment or get rid of my commission altogether, which is what happened to me because I wasn't hitting a certain threshold, even though I wasn't told that, or even though I agreed to a commission, you know, they agreed to a commission before now it's a certain threshold. So it was kind of just inconsistency for me with the athletes. It kind of felt like I didn't really matter. I wasn't really on the team unless you were like a paid athlete on a salary and I wasn't that so I didn't really like that portion. And something else I noted was with the pre-workout, uh, if you ordered the pre-workout, uh, with my code, you know, a couple months ago, uh, when I first got my couple orders, I love the pre, the pump was everything amazing, the focus was amazing, and the biggest thing was the taste was amazing. The pink lemonade, the rocket pop were the two best tasting pre-workouts I've ever had. I posted that on my Instagram, that was very truthful. However, I've noticed that as they, they got bigger, as they expanded as a company, it seemed like maybe they, um, you know, they switched distributors, maybe something happened on the back end, but the product quality, I couldn't say anything for the carb HD and the protein that kind of stayed the same, but the pre-workout, the pump and the, ca- the caffeine and the pump were still amazing, the focus, but the problem was the taste. The taste did fall off. The products did change. The pre-workout, you know, got kind of the taste got lost. It just didn't taste as good. The powder looked different, didn't mix as well. So I could tell that there was something that changed with it. So for that reason, I'm a big pre-workout guy. And, you know, I'm getting switched up on every other month, you know, not knowing what's going to happen with my status, you know, not getting like not knowing what's going to happen with me as an athlete. Now the products are coming out different. They're not as good as they were before. You know, I don't like them. I don't feel confident saying to my followers anymore. This is the best tasting pre I've ever had because it's just not. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, I was raving about the pre-workout when I first got it because those initial tubs were amazing. It wasn't a lie. I wasn't just trying to sell you. But as, you know, I received more products as they expanded, as they changed distributors, product quality on the pre-workout, just the taste in particular did decrease. And that's when I still posted it because, you know, it was my duty as an athlete. Um, but I just didn't have the same ravings. I didn't have the same ratings of the taste of the pre-workouts anymore because I didn't want to lie to you guys. I wasn't going to, you know, put on a facade and just try to make sales and not be truthful. But yeah, so for those like plethora of reasons, it's just basically why I decided to part ways. I decided to close that door, hopefully see if another door opens somewhere else, open up my opportunities to work with different companies, you know, try out some new things, talk to a couple places, see, um, you know, where I can find a good deal for myself, where I can promote products I actually like, I actually use, and that I think are the best for you guys. But that's basically all that happened with Yo Club and with HD Muscle. So I will not be working with those two companies any longer. Very unfortunate. If any of my Yo Club boys are seeing this, I love you still. Canon, if you're seeing this, the owner, thank you for the opportunity, brother. Sad it could not work out. Very tragic. But, you know, it is what it is. I understand your guys' situation completely. If you ever open up a warehouse in Canada, already hit your boy up. You already know what it is. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys use my code for either of those companies, enjoy the products. They're both great products. But... Uh, unfortunately, I will not be affiliated or sponsored by them anymore. Thank you for your guys' support on everything. This is not a fun video to make. Like, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm not even going to lie, especially with the Yo Club thing where it's my own fault why I got dropped. So there, there's no excuses can be made. The HD Muscle one less so because it was more of my own decision. But it's just not something that I like to do. You know, I enjoyed the products. I was raving about them. A lot of you guys use my code, which I do appreciate. But... Now it's kind of like, you know, I'm just segue- segueing my way uh, out of it. And uh, it-, it feels shitty, I'm not going to lie. So thank you guys just for your support in general. Uh, and I really do appreciate anyone that used my code on the other supplements. I'm not too down about it just because I know that other opportunities are going to come up in the future. I'm just going to focus on, you know, building up my following, making good content for you guys that you guys will enjoy and kind of just doing my own thing uh, for now. So Thank you. Um, So subscribe if you are new. Uh, I appreciate support as always. Really do. It means a ton to me. And uh, thank you.